Hi guys, I'm Ivan. Welcome again to Freaks for Tax. Today I'm gonna guide you how to build up a combo pump and reservoir. So let's take a look, something like this. You see it? This is a reservoir with a DCC pump into a combo unit. Let's take a look how to mount something like this. And remember to subscribe and click on the bell ring to support me. Thank you so much. When all the components of my PC was arrived, I was a little scared to open the pump. So I set a mind to make a video about that for showing you that there is nothing hard to do and to have no fear on new things. You will always find some types of guide on YouTube and on the net. Let's start. You need to check if you have everything you need. So, a laying DCC pump, in our case, the Proteum DCC mod kit, the Proteum reservoir, screws and screwdrivers. If you have everything, okay, now you can start. Step number one. We need to disassemble the DCC pump before pull it into its new case. For do that, unscrew the four screw that attach the length pump into the original factory top and the main pump core housing with motors. Keep these screws apart, you can always need them. Also, keep the original O-ring gasket that you find on the top. Ok, ok, I know what you are saying. Why a DCC pump and not a D5. Sincerely, I prefer D5 pump, but on my build with two hardware labs radiators of 360 and 240 with a lot of resistance with CPU and GPU on the same loop and also lots of 19 degree fittings, I prefer to have more pressures than flow. Let me know in the comment what you think about that. Now that you have removed the screw, you can remove the bottom cover and the top cover. Please be careful to not damage something. And keep the OL ring that you see on the top where it is. Don't throw it away. Step number two, install the protein top on the pump main motor housing. Add the thermal pad on the bottom and secure the pump cover with the four screw you have taken apart before. Place also the OR ring that you can find on the bottom and reset the OR ring in place, the ones in the top, if you have make some mistakes. Remember that we are using a DCC pump and that this bottom cover is also the heat spread of the pump. So put it in a position where there is a certain airflow. With D5 pump you have no problem because the pump uses the fluid itself for dissipation. Talking about that, this Proteum DCC pump cover has an extruded aluminum film array to add extra cooling and quieter the pump and this is extremely nice looking instead of the plastic. And now the final step, the number three, adding the reservoir to the pump. On our case, you have to remove the bottom cap with the insert and rotate, skewing the reservoir tube into the pump till the end. My reservoir is the Proteum from Singularity Computer. It's not cheap, but the aesthetic is gorgeous and it's a piece of art into your case. Proteum have 7 ports for maximum loop design option, but when you use it into a combo unit, you lose the 3 on the bottom and you will have only the ones on the 19 degree quad port cap on the top. 
There is also a 3mm LED mounting hole if you want to put some lightning feature on it. The retention ring is on aluminium and you can rotate the cap on the face that you prefer. Ok guys, congratulations, it's done! Now you can add fittings, mounting brackets and install it into your water cooling system. Thank you guys to follow me and watch my video. See you on the next time. Remember, subscribe, like the video if you like it, thumbs down if you really don't like it and comment down on the comment section what you think about this video and what you think I'm gonna show you on the next one. See you.